Aleluia. 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 Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we come to you on this day. Lord, we are so grateful. We thank you for your grace and your mercy that you have stored upon us. We thank you, Lord, how you allow us to gather together in your house. We ask you, Lord, to meet us here today in the name of Jesus. Let the Holy Ghost fire fall upon us today. Oh, Lord, open the windows of heaven, Lord. We need ladder rain on today, Lord. Oh, God, the ones that's here, Lord, you know what we all need today. But, oh, God, one thing, we got to realize that anything we need, you will supply it. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we come here in expectation, believing that you're going to do what we ask you to do. Lord, we give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. We give you all the glory. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we ask you, Lord, to touch the sick, touch the afflicted, everyone, Lord, that's not feeling their best today, Lord. You meet us here today. You touch us, Lord. Let us center our mind upon you, dear Jesus. It's nothing that we have done. But everything that you are in, part of it, Jesus. Lord, we ask you, Lord, to forgive us, Lord, of any sin, anything we have committed. Lord, forgive us today, Lord, as we continue in your service, Lord. We ask you to bless the speaker on today. Let the words of her mouth be, Lord Jesus, let her people accept your word. Open up our hearts and our minds in the name of Jesus, Lord. We ask you, Lord, to bless our bishop, bless our overseers, and all the leaders in this house. In the name of Jesus, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord, because we, we just want to thank you, Lord. All I can do is say thank you, Jesus, because, Lord, you've been so good. You've been so good, Lord. Does everybody in this should praise you. There's no reason why we don't have a time to say thank you, Jesus. Lord Jesus, we ask the Lord to protect the ones that's on their way. Keep them from any harm, hurt, or danger. In the name of Jesus. And we'll forever and we'll ever and ever and ever and ever give your name to praise. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank God. Thank God. Come on, Ellen Collins, help her down. I don't want Deacon Larry. Yeah, help her down the steps. Come on. Because <laughs> Deacon Larry don't want nobody touching her. Just to make sure we come in and have church this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at the saints coming in. I'm going to ask that this time our very own, um, I believe I asked Brother Lamont Bunn is coming to read our Old Testament scripture. And you may be seated only because you've been standing a long time. And then following him, we'll have the New Testament scripture read by our own deacon, Michael Taylor. Let's say amen as they come. I said, let's say amen as they come. Amen, saints. Good morning. Are y'all glad to be in the house of the Lord? I said, are y'all glad to be in the house of the Lord today? We got a lot to be thankful today. He woke us up this morning, didn't he? Aren't y'all glad to be here? Yes, amen, amen. I'll be reading from Psalms 91, 9 through 16. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation, there shall be no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder. The young lion and the dragon shall thou trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he hath known my name. Because he hath known my name. Amen. You hear that? Because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. 
with long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. May the Lord add a blessing to the readers and listeners of his word. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's good being in the house of the Lord, but it's better when God just lined things up to his purpose. And when he read his scripture for this morning, and it just made me feel good because what God laid in my heart when Bishop sent that text out, I've been studying this word on John. We're going to St. John 10. One, we'll read a little bit. Is that all right? Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entered not by the door into the sheepfold, sheepfold, excuse me, sheepfold, but climbs up in some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. For he that entered in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him, the porter opens, and the sheep hear his voice. So you got to know God's voice. <laughs> and he called his own sheep by name and leadeth them out. And he put forth his own sheep. He goes before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. And the stranger will not follow, but will flee from him. For they know not the voice of strangers. This parable speak of Jesus unto them, but they understood not what thing they were which he spake unto them. Then said Jesus unto them again, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. All the inner came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. If the thief cometh not but to steal and to kill and to destroy, I come that thy might have life and thy might have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd give his life for the sheep. But he that is a hearing and not the shepherd owns the sheep or not sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and flees and the wolf catch them and scatter the sheep the hearing flees because he is a hearing and cannot and care not for the sheep I am the good shepherd and I know my sheep and I know of mine as the father knows me even so know I the father I lay down my life for the sheep. And other sheep I have which are not of this flow, foe, them also I must bring. And I shall hear, um, excuse me, and they shall hear my voice. And there should be one foe and one shepherd. Therefore does my father love me because I lay down my life that I might take it again. No man take it from me, but I lay down my life of myself, I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it again. This commandment I receive of my Father. May God bless in the reading. Come on, put your hands together. My God, that's the way when you read the word, you're going to read it. Somebody say with authority, because it is the power of God. Somebody have to say amen. Let's put our hands together for the voices of praise as we come to lead us further in worship. Y'all not clapping your hands. I said, let's put our hands together for the voices of praise. Amen. How many of you know that we have to believe? We have to amen, believe. Amen. We have to believe. Yes. In order to succeed, you have to believe. And once you begin to believe, then you can start to say, bye-bye. Goodbye to my sorrows. Hallelujah. Goodbye Hallelujah. to my troubles. Yeah. Goodbye to the pain. I believe. Hallelujah. Hey, come on. Put your hands together. We're going to give God a little island praise today. Y'all got to stand up for this one. We want to dance. We're going to dance for the Lord. Trust and you, you, you know, 
off the mic stand. Tell your neighbor it's time to give God a praise. There's a storm out on the ocean and it's moving this way. If your soul's not anchored in Jesus, you will surely drift away. Put those hands together. There's a storm If your soul's not anchored in Jesus, you will surely drift away. Now put your hand together. Drift away. Drift away. Drift away. You will surely drift away. If your soul, if your soul's not anchored in Jesus, you will surely drift away. Help me one more time. Drift away. you can make for Jesus. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Put those hands together. Listen. There's a storm out on the ocean and it's moving this way. If, if your soul's not anchored in Jesus, you will I just dare you to tell three people we're almost there. We're, we're, we're almost there. See, what's, what's impossible to man is possible with God. I'm going to help some of y'all that don't believe God. If you can just only believe. It didn't say uh, that I believe God for you. It says to you, if you can just only believe all things. Y'all help me. Y'all know the Bible. All things are what? Come on, help me, Mr. Rodney. I see you back there. You know you're the walking word. All things are what? To them that believe. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, hold on, let me. Let me throw a little salt and pepper on that. To them that practice their belief. Because a lot of people believe, but they ain't practicing nothing. In order to receive from God, you have to be a practicing believer of God's word. That is what empowers you to get that breakthrough that you stand in need of. And my wife prophesied as long as with, uh, there was at least three or four but our own pastor overseer, y'all don't know she operates in the gift of the prophetic also. She said, yeah, y'all can play it cheap if you want to. Yeah, you play it cheap if you want to. When I get in trouble, I tell her, pray, pray, please, pray, pray. If God ain't listening to me, he'll hear you, pray. And God answers, somebody say her prayers. How many of y'all have been healed just by her laying hands on you? I just want to see. 
Okay, so you know she is a woman of God. And as she prophesied and others came here and prophesied, wow, I don't know what we're going to do when we receive an abundance more than just the 80,000. Okay. Middleton, I'm going to step out there. I know y'all think I'm crazy, but I'm going to step right on out there because I'm believing God that we're probably going to raise over $100,000. There, there he go again. There he go again with that. No, no, I believe God. I don't know where you're going. I believe God. I'm on 777 Heaven Boulevard, and I'm believing God. Amen, somebody. We're going to take a pause for Black History Month to remember some of the great giants and people that have made it possible. I've asked uh, my daughter, she took ill this morning, so our own sister Jayla is going to come. And I wish we were upstairs because we'd be able to show you the pictures of the people on the screen. But they are sitting outside, my wife said. They're right over there. You want? Can you get, how many people do we have here? There's six, give me six people that will come volunteer and hold these pictures as she reads them. Come on, Sister Jayla, put your hands together for Jayla. As she comes, go grab a picture. Don't wait your hand. Go grab a picture. Grab a picture. Come and stand right here. So as she, where did Jayla go? She didn't disappear, though, but she got the hallelujah. Will somebody go grab? Chris, go grab Jayla. I think they're in the restroom. Tell her, Anita. Yeah, I think they went to the restroom. Good. You stand right here. And each person's name, look at the person's name you got when they call them out. I want you to hold that picture forward and she can get it on the camera. They're coming. Look at them coming, right? Six pictures coming. These are wonderful faces. Now, you can't look at the picture. You got to point the picture towards them so they can see it. Yeah. Why, why are you looking at the picture? Yeah. That picture must look awful good to him. He's a whole no. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Well, let's say amen for our youth pastor as she comes and reads our Black History Moment. Y'all put your hands together for Elder Latasha Marie Moore. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord, everyone. Okay. Our first. Okay. Okay, thank you. Our first. Um mention is Dr. Daniel Hale Williams. Dr. Daniel Hale Williams was an American general surgeon who in 1893 performed the second documented successful pericordium surgery to repair a wound. He also founded Provident Hospital, the first non-segregated hospital in the United States. He attended Fangberg School of Medicine in 1880 for three years and graduated with a medical degree. Appointed to the Illinois State Board of Health in 1889, he worked with medical standards and rules he noted prejudice against and inferior treatments often given to black patients. Williams met a pastor whose sister wanted to become a nurse but was denied admission from all nursing schools because she was black. So with that being said, Dr. Williams and Pastor Reynolds opened a nursing school for black women. Williams continued a surgical and academic career until his death in 1931. Fact, the Daniel Hale Williams home located at 445 East 42nd Street in Chicago, Illinois, is designated a National Historic Landmark. First heart surgery patient lived another 20 years, 125 years ago. His birth and death is January 8th, 1856 through August 4th, 1931. Andrea Crabtree. And Andrea Crabtree was the chemist's first female deep sea diver and the first African-American female deep sea diver in any branch of service. Crabtree knew that the journey to serving the American diving badge would be difficult. She was told by her many classmates saying she belonged in a kitchen, barefoot and pregnant because she's black and they didn't expect anything more. Crabtree was the only black person and only woman among eight soldiers and more than 20 others on day one of her deep sea diving class in 1982. 1985, 
when she was finished, she finished her career as a signal soldier. John Barry Selectum. John was a pastor, businessman, educator, and founder of the first African-American Baptist church in St. Louis, the oldest black church west of the Mississippi River, at a time when it was illegal in the city to teach people of color to read and write. John operated a school in the church's basement. He also circumvented meaning finding a way around Missouri state laws banning education for black people, citing the floating freedom school on a steamboat on the Mississippi River. The floating school was an educational facility for free and enslaved African Americans on a steamboat. It was established in 1847 by John. After John passed, a former student took over by the name of Reverend John B. R. Anderson in 1854. The school closed sometime after 1860. Shirley Anita Chisholm. In 1968, Shirley Chisholm was the first African American woman to hold a spot in Congress. She was the first woman in African American to seek the nomination for President of the United States. Going back a few years to 1964, Shirley ran for and successfully became the second African American in the New York legislature. Now jumping back to 1968, Chisholm fought for a spot in Congress and won herself a seat there. She was the co-founder of the National Women's A Political Caucus in 1971 and then in 1977 became the first black woman and second woman ever to serve on the powerful House Rules of Committee. Chisholm quoted herself saying, I want to be remembered as a woman who dared to be a catalyst of change. Two more, okay. Last two. George Robert Carruthers. At the age of 10, George designed his very own telescope made out of cardboard, tubing, and mail-ordered lens he bought using his own money, working as a paper boy. Carruthers' father passed when he was only 12 and pushed him harder to fight for his mother and him. He still pursued science. He completed in science fa- he competed in science fairs, winning multiple awards. One of the awards being first place for a telescope he designed and built himself. Carruthers graduated high school and entered into an engineering program at the University of Illinois. There he studied aerospace engineering and astronomy. He then earned his bachelor's in physics in 1961 and went on to achieve his master's in nuclear engineering in 1962. Also earning his PhD in aeronational and aeronational engineering in 1964. His his telescope and image converter was used to identify molecular hydrogen in space and his (laughs) ultraviolet camera was used by Apollo 16 during the flight to the moon. Last but not least, Katanji Brown Jackson. Katanji served as a federal judge, federal public defense, and on the U.S. Sentencing Commission before President Joe Biden nominated her to become an associate justice on the U.S. or United States Supreme Court in 2022. She was the first African-American woman to get a nomination and seat was confirmed on April 7, 2022. Jackson is the first black woman to serve as Supreme Court, the first federal public defense to sit on the court, and the first justice since Thurgood Marshall. The representative criminal defendants. Jackson earned her law degree in 1996 from Harvard. Alongside one of these brilliant people, there are more like them such as Vashti Murphy McKenzie, who was the first black bishop of the African-American Methodist Episcopal Church and the author of six books. Or we have Vivian Theodore Thomas, who was a laboratory suspensor who in the 1940s developed a producer used to treat blue baby syndrome. 
Carter G. Woodson, who was the American historian, author, journalist, and the founder of the Association for the Study of African American Life and History. Carter was a scholar who dedicated to celebrating the historic con contributions of black people led to the establishment of black history with fourth man marked every marked every February since 1976. Amen. amen. Can we say amen for our black history moment? Come on, put your hands together. Your own overseer took the time and took the pictures and made sure that everyone would be able to see these people who made history for us in America. Amen, somebody? I know it's word of God time, but I know y'all, I know y'all know we're going to get our offering because y'all, right, you you know, you'll get the word and shout right on out the door. No, I need you to leave an offering in here to help us to get to the place. If you're watching by YouTube and Facebook, we still, we're $29,000 away, Sister Tammy, 29000 We started with just $5,000. And we had $51,000 already. I wish I had some help up in here. So listen, uh, watch, watch this. I have to make sure this message is clear, Sister Carla. You, no, you don't take your tithe money. I'm putting it on the flat roof. No, your tithe money goes to keep the lights and the gas in the church. So when you come through here, you can come in the church. Amen. Ain't no service up on the flat roof. We just need to get that repaired. Hallelujah. So make sure we give our 10% as unto the Lord. If you do have a donation towards the flat roof and to all of my first time visitors, put it on your check, put it in the memo section. This is for the flat roof project. Some people are giving 10, 20, whatever the Lord lays on your heart. Listen, I would want to be a part of that 29,000 because there's a scripture that I am reminded of that says, he that lendeth to the poor lendeth unto the Lord, and he shall repay you. And when I say poor, I'm not talking about poor in spirit, but I, I mean poor in a place where we cannot do it by ourselves. Anybody ever needed help out there? Maybe it's just me. I don't know. And I'm not afraid to ask for help. Sometimes you got to open up your mouth because I remember the old saying that a closed mouth never gets fed. I can't get nobody over here to say amen. Yeah, closed mouth never gets fed. You have not because you ask not. And I'm not afraid to ask God because he owns everything. Amen, somebody. So get your offering in your hands. Stand to your feet. Elder Demi Collins, would you come? Pray God's blessing over the tithe, over the offering, and over the flat roof project donations that we will receive today. Let the church say amen. amen. Somebody give the Lord a hand praise. Hallelujah. <laughs> King of kings and Lord of lords, worthy of praise and worthy of honor. Father God, we come before you in the name of Jesus. We give you thanks, we give you glory, and we give you praise. For God, there is none like you. We thank you for another opportunity to be able to come into the house of the Lord. For David said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. We thank you for what you've already transpired and what you've already done as it's offering. We thank you, Lord, those who, who have given and, ha and have to give, and those who have not that want to give, and bless them to be able to give. And God, we'll always be careful to give you the thanks, the glory, and the praise. And somebody said, let the church be amen and amen. Give us some happy music, musicians. Hallelujah. I want you to just talk to them while I go play the drums. Come on, saints, let's give today. As Bishop said, we're 29,000 away, and that's easy. Easy peasy. We can get that money. We can get that money. God is already with us. Say amen. God is already for us. And we can get that $29,000. I, I decree and I declare that $29,000 will show up for this project. If you believe it, shout hallelujah. Oh, come on. Shout hallelujah. It's already done in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. God bless you this morning. You all look beautiful giving. 
giving to God looks good on you. Hallelujah. As you give, he's already giving back to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over. God's going to cause men to give into your bosom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Some of you should get ready for new cars and new homes. As you give to the Lord in truth and in honesty, God is giving back to you. Get ready for God to make the way out of no way. Hallelujah. Increases and bonuses on your jobs. Raises and promotions. Favor of God and favor of man be upon you this morning. Hallelujah. Oh, bless his name. I don't think you believe it this morning. God is going to bless you. Say it out loud. God is going to bless me. Come on, believe it. Say, God is going to bless me. Hallelujah. Oh, bless his name. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you for your tithe and for your offering. For giving liberally on this morning. Give the Lord the greatest hand clap you can. Come on and let's praise him. Let's praise him. Hallelujah. I don't hear you praising him. Hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. Come on, lift up your voice. Hallelujah. It's already done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, bless his name. Thank you, Bishop. Can we thank God for Bishop Iron D. Withorn? Come on, put your hands together. He is a good friend and buddy of mine. I'm grateful for him. He's coming down to have words with us. But on the fourth month, you all know that I <coughs> render uh, the pulpit to those in which I minister to. You never will find out what's in a person until you give them an opportunity to speak. I'm not one of those pastors that I have to preach every Sunday. I don't, I don't, I'm not intimidated by anybody's preaching, not intimidated. Because what God has for me is, is for me. If somebody else make you happy, you go right down the street with them at Happy Joy Church of the Living God. Go right on down there with them. But you have to have a consistent lifestyle. The key is not so much the hype in preaching. The key is that in the person that's preaching, do they have a life to back up what they're preaching about? Amen. Elder Terry has been a pioneer with us now almost 22 years, yes. Because when I met her, I met her uh, at Red and White. Y'all remember Red and White Grocery Store, y'all Youngstownians? Because when I took over the church from Mother Manola Crump, and it was an honor, I was so happy, me and my wife, so happy we came down to pastor, uh, Minister Middleton, and there was five people in the church. I'm thinking, you know, given the opportunity to pastor this college, a whole bunch of people, I'm like, whoo, I get down there, it was five people, and three of the five came from my house. <laughs> and so God says, what I'm going to give you, Bishop Moore, is what's called an opportunity. I'm going to see what you will do with little before I bless you with much. How many know that God wants to test you to see what you'll do with little? Because the truth of the matter is sometimes we're not, we're not ready for everything God has for us. So he has to test us with little so we will appreciate the much. She's been here. She's been a pioneer. She uh, is a ruling elder over the St. James Parish. She has helped people get their funeral arrangements, went by to the families when they died. She has done everything I've asked her to do. And in um, her office, in appreciation of her office as in not just an elder, she's a ruling elder. She helps me to pastor the congregates of this church. Stand to your feet. And let's receive Elder Terry Mims Johnson as she comes to give us the word of the Lord. Come on, you can do better than that. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You can do better than that. Thank you, Bishop. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to God. 
I just want to say it's an honor to stand before you today. I want to thank God for being the head of my life. I want to thank God for trusting me to speak to his people today. I want to thank God for my bishop, whom I met 22 years ago at Red and White. And I want to thank God for my pastor also, who has really been a big inspirement in my life. I love her, ain't she beautiful, y'all? She's a very beautiful woman, inside and out. Amen. But I don't think I'm gonna be before you long today. It's been a trying week, amen. Elder Core, amen. It's just been a hard week. You know, every time I get ready to speak, the enemy tries to attack me through my body, sometimes through my family, and I had to call my cousin, Minister Smith, to pray for me, and he prayed for me, and honey, I'ma tell y'all today, when I got up today, my back wasn't hurting. My back wasn't hurting. Then, then the enemy tried to get me the other day, a couple of days ago, you all know, pastor laid hands on my knees, right? On my right knee, my right leg, right? I get up the other day, I could barely walk. Guess what? The left knee was hurting me where I couldn't walk. But I told pastor yesterday, I say, see, Satan couldn't bother me with my right knee because you laid hands on it and you got healing hands, amen? Because that's just what she got, healing hands. But Father God, I want to come to you this day. I'm asking you, Father God, to set me down and stand before me, Father God. I'm asking you to send an overflow of your Holy Spirit today, Father God. Father God, I'm asking you to give your people that is here today an ear to hear, understand, and believe what does the Lord have to say today. I thank you, Father God, and I lift this prayer up to God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. And I say, Lord, have your way in this place today. Amen. Amen again. <sighs> Glory be to God. I called Bishop and I said, Bishop, can I, um, I say the Lord spoke to me and told me to give a word before I had my surgery. And he said, when is your surgery? I said, the 27th. He said, I just was telling pastor last night that I was going to call you and have you give the word on fourth Sunday. So this is all God, amen. So when I asked God to give me a word, I asked him, well, where will you have me go? And he said, giving God the glory, amen. 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 So I say, okay, glory be to God, huh? I say, well, where are you going to have me? What text you going to have me go out of, Lord? And he said, 1 Corinthians 6.20. And 1 Corinthians 6.20 reads, uh-oh, I'm sorry, it's 1 Corinthians 10.31. I'm sorry. It reads, whether therefore ye eat or drink or whatsoever you do, do all things to the glory of God. Amen. So I was like, glory, glory. And I said, I got to really study this. I was studying that work and everything. So I said, the meaning of the word glory is heavy in weight. It is weighty, important, and shining majesty that accompanies God's presence. Amen. You understand what God is saying? We supposed to glorify God at all times. Amen. No matter what we're going through, we have to give God the glory. Amen. Because giving God the glory is honoring him. Amen. That's what glory means. Honoring God. Amen. And then I said, well, you want to be glorified also. And glorified is a verb. And the word glorified is to give weight to or to honor Amen. Thus, to glorify God is to recognize God for who he really is and respond appropriately. Whenever God is telling us to do something, 
We must do it as children of God. If you're not a child of God, then, hey, I pray that one day you become one. Amen. 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 I pray that one day you become one because we're all at a limited time on earth. Amen. Amen again. So how can we exactly give glory to God? By honoring him in the way we live our daily lives. By respecting, caring about, helping others, caring about and helping others. By treating others as children of God. And we, should in, we shouldn't intentionally hurt people with words that come out of our mouths. Amen. Because, see, you can hurt somebody with words. It's not what you say. It's how you say it. Amen. That's what it is. How you say it. Amen. Glory be to God. Hey, we got to just keep saying, tell your neighbor, glory be to God. Because he deserves the glory. Yes, he does. We as believers should be motivated to bring glory to God in everything we do. Yes, I said to bring glory to God in everything we do. Everything we do. Not some things, everything. Amen. Amen again. The object is we have to do all things to God's glory. That is our purpose on earth. Amen. To glorify God is that we give God credit for everything positive in our lives. We don't take credit for anything, anything at all. The glory belongs to God and God alone. Amen. Amen. See, I'm going to say when, when, when I went to go get a car a few years back, Tyrasia went with me. And I'm like, you know what? I want me a new car, Lord. Like Bishop always say, we have not because we ask not. That is true. I'm like, Lord, I want me a new car. Amen. I say, Tyrasia, let's go clean this car out because I'm going to get a new car today. Right. She said, you going to get a new car? I said, yes, I am. Tracy, you know what I'm talking about, don't you, Sister Tracy? I say, I'm going to get a new car today. Got up there, right? And it was this silver Impala there. And I'm like, ooh, Raja, look at that one. I think I want that car right there because it got a sunroof. I always wanted a car with a sunroof, amen. And Ray just said, okay, auntie, you know. I'm like, watch, watch this, Ray. I go inside, I talk to the man, and I said, uh, it's a silver Impala out there. Who car, who is that? Do that belong to somebody? He said, well, we pulled it up here for somebody, but they didn't want it. They wouldn't approve of something. I'm like, oh, can I go look at it? He like, sure. So we go out there. I looked at the car. I'm like this, touching the car, going around, claiming it in my God's name. Because he said, I have not, because I ask not. So I'm claiming that car, amen. Yes. They gave me that car. Woo! Glory be to God. And God is so good. I even, God even allowed me to pay that car off a year early. Amen. My friend Jackie back there, she know. Am I telling the truth, Jackie? I would not stand before y'all and lie about anything. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Amen. I like y'all. I love y'all today. I'm feeling y'all today. Come on, church. Hey, he said, preach. Lord, use me. I'm giving you the glory. I'm giving you the praise. Because if I don't give you the glory, and if I don't give you the praise, ain't nothing going to work out for me. I won't get that favor that God gives me. Amen. Because everybody don't get favor either. But I'm favored in the name of Jesus. Hey, thank you, Jesus. Okay. God is the Lord of glory. He is the glorious one. He alone is worthy to receive honor, glory, and praise. We as believers are supposed to make his name. We are supposed to spread the goodness all over the earth. We're supposed to let people know about the goodness of God. That's what we're supposed to do. 
Because if God been good to you, don't you want to share that to somebody? I do. Didn't I just share with y'all about the car? I got so many testimonies, but I ain't got enough of time. Amen. <laughs> but I got a lot of testimonies. Amen. I know, Bishop. <laughs> The more we worship him and the more we bring him glory and the more we experience his glory, his presence is near us. Amen. His presence is near us. Giving God glory means to honor him. Just honor him. That's all he wants. And these are some of the things that we can do to glorify God. We can glorify God by honoring him in the way we live our lives by respecting others, treating ourselves as children of God with the same respect. Two of the, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> two of the greatest commandments are love God with all of our heart, yes, yes. mind, strength. Yes, yes. We have to love him like that, because don't he, didn't he love us, don't he love us unconditionally? <laughs> That's what the word of God says. He loves us unconditionally. And love our neighbors. That ain't talking about your next door neighbor now. That's talking about everybody in the world. We supposed to love everybody. Yes, I know some people make it hard. But guess what? If we want to be loved unconditionally by God, then we need to love his children that are still in the world. Because he said he loves the sinner but hates the sin. Right. Ain't that what he say in his word? That's right. Amen. That's right. Love our neighbors as ourselves. And when we do this, we will naturally want to share the happiness of living, the happiness and the living that the way with others. I can't read my own right. <laughs> anyway, um, happiness of living that way with others. And it will bring others to God. Also, when they see how your light shine, again, when they see how your light shine, again, when they see how your light shine, amen, your light shine, when they see how your light shine, when they get to know God through you, again, they'll get to know God through you. Amen? It will also make them want to honor and glorify him also. And I agree. I got a friend back there right now. And I love her so much. She called me Mama Terry. And uh, I didn't know that she was really paying me that much attention at work. And Bishop always said, you know, they're watching y'all. Everybody watch what you do. And I'm like, this young lady came to me one day, and she started talking to me. And she said, can I pray for her? And I'm like, mm-hmm. I say, um, you could come visit my church, too. I'm like, if you don't like my church, Tremaine, Sister Tremaine, she's Sister Tremaine today. Amen. I said, you could come and visit my church also since you don't have a church home. But if you don't like my church, there's a lot of churches here. Find you a church home. Okay. And to this day, Tremaine is living for the Lord. Because she's seen my light shine. Amen. And I love her so much. She is such a sweet young lady. She even called me and asked. She said, they talk about ties. How I do that? I explained that. I love her. I, anything she want, I got, she can get. Okay. And the purpose of God's glory is to reveal his power, beauty, goodness. The humanity, it is believed that God's glory is manifested, manifested in all of his creatures. All of us. God is the creator of all. And he created us all in his image. And if we was created to glorify him, and we was created to glorify him. Amen. See, everything was created by God, nature, and humans. 
but we as humans was created to what? Glorify him. The tree ain't going to talk. Y'all think the tree could talk? Okay, who, who talks? The humans. Okay, we're supposed to praise and glorify our God. Amen. God is of love, peace, joy, patience, happiness, faithfulness, kindness, gentleness. So we as believers should have the same thing for his people. Amen. Psalm 71, 8 reads, Let my mouth be filled with thy praise and with thy honor all the day. Meaning, we should be worshiping and praising God all day. Throughout the day, y'all, we should be like, thank you, Lord, for waking me up this morning. Thank you, Lord, for letting me still be in the land of the living. Thank you, Lord, for providing for me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But we're going to say, glory be to God. Amen. Tell your neighbor, glory be to God. Glory be to God. Psalms 111.3 reads, his work is honorable and glorious, and his righteousness endureth forever. Meaning, the work of God is great, and God should be praised for who he is. Look what he did. He created all of us. And each and every one of us look different unless you was born as a twin. They got fraternal twins too. Triplets. What they call it when it's four of them? Quadruplets or something. But each and every one of us are made differently. We look different. God, girl, you better say that again. Sister Glendale, they act, we sure act different. I'm glad I don't act like something. Anyway, <laughs> Second Corinthians read. 318, but we all with open face beholding as in a glass, the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory, even as by the spirit of the Lord, you know, just being transformed. You know what I'm saying? You're just being transformed because you are a new creature. Amen. You are a new creature. Thank you, Father God. God's glory should be showing on our faces. We should look like we've been in the presence of the Lord. You know, I mean, like right now, I'm getting a little. I'm going to be okay, though. Sometimes when I think about where God brought me from. I used to be out there in the streets doing this, doing that, fighting anything. I didn't care. I was so disrespectful to people. I used to cuss like a sailor. But look where God brought me from. And if he brought me from there, he can do it for anybody. Because he decided to save a wrench like me. In the name of Jesus, and I give him all the glory, and I give him all the praise, because all he want to be is glorified. He want us to say, glory be to God, and I glorify you, Lord. I glorify you, because if it had not been for him, wouldn't none of us be here today? See, we bought with a price, amen. If Jesus wouldn't have came down here and died for us, we wouldn't be here. I don't care what nobody say, but by him dying for us, gave us a second chance at life. Amen. So I just want to say, to God be the glory. God be the glory. I give God the glory for being my Savior because he wants to be glorified. Hallelujah. I give God the glory for being my healer because he wants to be glorified. I give God the glory for being everlasting because he wants to be glorified. I give God the glory. I give God the glory for being who he is. I give God the glory for being the Alpha and the Omega. I give God the glory for being 
Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. I give God the glory for being my protector. I give God the glory for making sure I woke up today and able to speak to his people in the land of the living. He just want to be glorified for it. I give God the glory for being Jehovah Rapha. Hallelujah. I just give God the glory for everything. Everything. I don't leave nothing out when it come to God. Because if it wasn't for God, we would not be here. Amen. Excuse me. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, we love you. Lord, we praise you. And we just give you the glory for being the Prince of Peace. Hallelujah. Because you want to be glorified for it. We give you the glory, Lord, because of your faithfulness, because you want to be glorified for it. We give you glory, God, because of your trust that you have within us, because you want to be glorified for it. We give you glory, God. We give you praise, God. We give you glory, God, for loving us unconditionally. We give you glory for loving us unconditionally, and all you want to be is glorified for it. He just want to be glorified, people of God. So giving glory. I'm going to say this, and then I'm done. Amen. That's right. God be the glory. I'm going to get a sip of water, please. Thank you, Bishop. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Bishop. I just want to share this with you. Last Wednesday when I was at work, I was sitting outside, and the Lord brought something back to my memory. Back in 2007, I was diagnosed with a brain tumor. A brain tumor. I was diagnosed. I was going to Faith Temple on Myrtle at the time. And I talked to Bishop. I let, at that time, she was First Lady. He was pastor. And I let them know I wanted them to pray for me. Well, I had forgot that I had got hit in the head with a broom at work. And he's still my husband, so I'm going to say my husband. He said, because I started having real bad headaches. And he said, your head might be hurting from when you got hit in the head with that broom. Ding, ding, ding. So I make a doctor's appointment because I'm like, you know what, he might be right. Because see, when you get hit in the head, it's trauma. You can get concussions and all that from being hit in the head. Amen? So I made a doctor's appointment to go see my doctor. And he sent me to get a CAT scan done. And he said, it is something there, but we really can't see it. So we have to send you for an MRI. I'm claustrophobic. I'm like, Lord, you got to give me something for that because I, 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 I feel like somebody trying to smother me. I seen that thing. I'm like, oh, no. So they did one. I went back to the doctor, and they said it is something on your brain. He said it's the size of a nickel. I went back a month later. Jesus. I went back a month later, and it was the size of a quarter. It was growing that quick. That quick it was growing. Well, me and my mom and my best friend, we went up there about a couple weeks later for them to let us know what procedure they were going to take. They didn't know if they were going to go in or try to shrink it. But God. Somebody say, but God. But God, that's why I say I got so many testimonies. My grandmother always told us, don't let everybody pray over you. 
Ain't that what they said, Aunt Therese and Aunt Tiny? Didn't she say that? Don't let everybody lay hands on you, is what she used to say. But I'm going to tell y'all something. God told me to have pastor. And pastor, I know you forgot this, didn't you? Because I forgot it. I forgot too. But God brought it back to my memory. That's why I believe I always tell people you get healing hands, but I forget what happened, what had transpired for me to say that about you. I forgot, but God brought it back to my memory. Pastor laid hands on me, y'all. And this is what she said when she laid hands on me. She said, if you don't believe, it's not going to work. We went, I went back to the hospital. And like I said, they was telling me, going to let us know what they were going to do. And guess what? To God be the glory. To God be the glory, be the glory y'all. The man say, he put it up on the screen. He put all of them there. He said, you see that? I'm like, mm-hmm. You see that? I'm like, mm-hmm. He said, what you see there? I say, I don't see that there. He said, it's gone. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. And she told me, if you don't believe, it won't work. So I'm saying, this is God. I'm hearing from him today. There's people in here today that's sick, that's going through stuff in their bodies and in their mind. They're going through stuff from their head to their feet. Amen. But God said that if you trust pastor, overseer, Selena to lay hands on y'all today. Hey, look at God. Look at God. If you trust them to lay hands on y'all today, whatever you're going through, it'll be gone. But you got to believe. Thank you. God bless y'all. Come on, Bandy, help her. Amen, amen. That is the altar appeal. Give glory to God, saints. Give glory to God. This is the altar appeal. Give glory to God, saints. Watch this. Give glory to God. Why do we give him glory? He's worthy of the praise, saint. What do we do? Give glory to God. He, he's worthy of the praise, saint. Watch this. Give glory to, I need everybody to stand your feet because what she said was prophetic. She didn't know he had just whispered to me. He is in charge of evangelism and missions. But he operates in the evangelism aspect of it. And he said that's what God told him to pray over the people that he would speak to today for healing. If you got something in your, you better run to this altar. You got a bad doctor report. They saw anything. If I was you, I'd be heading to the altar right now. If you need God to take care of something, and healing doesn't have to always be physical. Sometimes it, need, it can be mental. If I was you, I'd be heading. I wouldn't stand there. Yeah, I wouldn't sit there, Tammy, knowing I need, I'd be heading toward the altar because I need healing. Somebody say, I need healing. That's why we moved the seats back and we moved the chairs back because we was expecting, my God, we were expecting a move of God. On last week, we had deliverance, and when we left here, I gave you one word to tell the devil all week long, and that word was no. And everybody that received that is back in the house of God on today because they used the word no to the devil. I'm going to turn this over into the hands. Bishop Iron D. Withorn, who's in charge of evangelism and missions. Put your hands together for Bishop as he comes to help you get your breakthrough. God bless you, Bishop Moore. My respect to you and to Overseer Selena Moore. God bless all of the ministry gifts in this church. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. 
Say it out loud. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord spoke to me before coming this morning, and I didn't know that the preacher, where did she go? Where? Oh, I did not know that she would end, and it was a testament to what God has spoken to me. I didn't know she would end with healing. On the flyer that suggested that I would be here today for missions and evangelism, it starts out by saying healing is the children's bread. It is your right to be healed because you belong to God. I'm going to say it again because some of you don't believe it. I said it is your right to be healed because you belong to God. So you don't have to carry around sickness in your body, in your relationship, in your money. I'm not, I, I can't hear nobody. Some of you are not only sick in your physicality, but your money is sick. Your money is funny. Y'all ain't talking to me. And you can't do nothing without, the Bible said money answers all things. So some of you need healing in your finances. You need healing in your homes and in your families. Your families are sick. Family dynamics are dysfunctional. But today the Lord comes to heal you. You should lift your hands up and say hallelujah. I say you should lift your hand up and say hallelujah. Bible says, and these are the scriptures the Lord gave me to read to you today. There are two that he gave me. St. John 5, 6, and 8. When Jesus saw him lie, and the word lie is L-I-E. You would think that it would have said when Jesus saw him laying there. But he said when Jesus saw him lie, L-I-E. Meaning your situation is a lie. I can't hear nobody. Your circumstance is a lie. The enemy's been trying to deceive you into believing that where you are, you're going to always be. But the devil is a lie. I'm going to say it again for the hearing impaired. I said the devil is a lie. You will not remain defeated on one single score. You will not remain defeated on one single score. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Hey. In the name of Jesus. I want just Pastor Selena and I this morning laying hands because God give us a, given us an assignment. He's given an assignment. Put your hand in the pit of her belly. Ho! Receive that in Jesus' name. There's some things the Lord is breaking off of you so that you can live holy 100%. God has called you into a place. Hey! He's called you into a place of intercession. And he wants his return. God wants his return. God wants his return. It's all right. Some things is hard for us to break. But the breaker's anointing is here today. I said the breakers don't go far. Don't go far, associate pastor. Don't go far. I still need you up here praying. The breaker's anointing is here. Open your mouth. In the name of Jesus. That's right, praise him. Praise him for your deliverance this morning. Mark 5, 34. And he said unto her, daughter, thy faith. Say thy faith. Say my faith. Say it out loud. Say my faith. Have made thee whole. What you believe is what's going to make you whole. If you can believe that you can be made well, you will be made well. If you can believe that your family is coming together, your family is coming together. 
If you can believe that you're coming out of poverty, you're coming out of poverty. But it's going to be by your faith. It won't be the preacher's faith. It won't be the prayer, prayer partner's faith. But it's going to be your faith. Say my faith. Say it again. Say my faith. Say it again. My faith. Say it out loud. My faith. Say it out loud. My faith. Hold that for me. Say my faith. Say my faith. Have made me whole. Come on, Overseer Selena, come on with me. In the name of Jesus, put your hand straight up. In the name of Jesus. Hey, 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 hey. My faith, I bring you out of mental confusion. I bring you out of mental instability. I bring you out of struggle. And I bring you into a place of freedom. I bring you into a place of confidence. I bring you into a place of confidence. I bring you into a place. Hi! I bring you into a place of confidence in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. No more self-doubt. No more self-hatred. No more self-doubt. No more self-hatred. No more self-doubt. No more self-hatred. But he whom the Son makes free. He whom the Son. Come on, associate pastor. He. Come on. He whom the Son sets free. Put your hand in her chest area. He whom the Son. He whom the Son sets free is free indeed. Free indeed. Shout it out loud. Free indeed. Clap your hand and praise him. Clap your hand and praise him. I'll be going through my text messages. Hold on to it. <laughs> Come on, praise him. <laughs> Lift up your hands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, Father, I thank you right now that every yoke is destroyed because a breaker's anointing is here. I said a breaker's anointing is here. I said, everybody put your hands up. A breaker's anointing is here. Receive the breaker's anointing in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God said, I'm bringing it together. I'm bringing it together. I'm bringing it together. I'm bringing it together. All things new, all things new, all things new. All things new in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I'm going to teach you how to seek me. I'm going to teach you how to pray. I'm going to teach you how to get in my presence, said the Lord. And I'm going to cause you to rise up as an intercessor in this house. I'm going to cause you to rise up as a birther in this house. I'm going to cause you to rise up. In the name of Jesus, let it be so right now. Let it be so right now. Let it be so right now. Just receive that. Go ahead. It's all right. Receive that in the name of Jesus. It's all right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Put your hands on her right here. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, I need help. In the name of Jesus. It's all right. It's a breaker's anointing. It's another body. Take your glasses off. Those are beautiful glasses. I really like them. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, walk with me. Thank you, Jesus. I'm coming to all of you. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're going to get to you. I'm just going as the Lord shall lead us. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, let all the, put your hand in our chest area. Hallelujah. Let all the crying days be over. In the name of Jesus. When he prays for you, go back to your seat. When he prays, go back to your seat. All of the crying days be over. All of the sad days be over. Give peace here. Give peace. 
give peace here in the name of Jesus and answer the prayer. Hey, answer the hey, answer the prayer. Who oh, answer the answer the prayer, answer the prayer, answer the prayer. Hey, in the name God. of Jesus. Oh, ho, 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 under the Baba Sita, ho, Bananio Shata, in the name of Jesus, in the Nio Soba, in the name of Jesus, come on, Overseer Selena, come on, Nio Sha, in the name of the Yonda La Baha, in the name of Jesus, don't you try to catch nobody, don't you try to catch nobody, that's it, mother, let it go, Jesus, let it go, mother, thank you, that's it, mother, thank you, that's it, you just told us about your pack, I want you to keep your back in order, thank you, hey. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. You got to believe, baby. You got to believe. You got to believe. You got to believe. Rebuke all doubt. Hey, Ella Collins. Rebuke all doubt in the name of Jesus. Hey, okay, son, da, 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 bo, Let it be so. Look Let at the Holy so. Ghost. Let the Holy Ghost. Let it be That's so. it, mother. That's it. Cry Let out it to him. So. How old are you? What are your desires? Yeah, kids, son, don't go for a shot time. Huh? Mechanics. All right. So I'm going to ask God to put your hands. The Lord told me to pray for you for business. Business. To be an entrepreneur. So I don't know. Yeah, kids, son, don't go for a shot. My God. Place, mechanic wise, or, you know what I mean? I don't know what it is that God want to give you, but he told me to pray for you. Yeah, okay, so I'm done Great, we're going to anoint your hands for business for you to be an entrepreneur, okay? God's got a blessing for you. And I mean, it's major. I want you to keep coming to church. Keep being faithful. God can do all things. Do what you're supposed to do. Would you anoint his hands? Yeah. He's doing what you're supposed to do. Thank you, Jesus. I got I to gotta talk to you for a few minutes, just a few minutes after we finish praying. So nobody leave. We should be out of here by about 12, 15, Bishop. Yes, sir. Amen. We should be out about, about, about 12, 15 because I got to go eat lunch. Say amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> I got to go eat lunch. So we won't be much longer. The anointing moves at a speed of, of light. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Come on, take two steps up. Son, Thank you, Jesus. Father, anoint his hands for business. Yes. Take that other hand over, sis, Selena. Yes. Anoint his hand for business. For business. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Spirit Jesus. Spirit of an entrepreneur be upon him. My God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want you Jesus. to bless him in his going in, his coming ah, out. Jesus. His rising up and his down setting. And keep him from the snare of the ah, enemy. Jesus. I heard the Lord say that. Keep him from the snare of the enemy. Keep him from the snare of the enemy. In the name of, of the Jesus. Enemy. Rebuke this little one that but at the castle Horianda Lamaba. Yeah. Rebuke yeah. this one that's not for him. That's right. In the name of Jesus. Let God use you, sir. Rebuke this one that's not for no, him. No, she's not for him. I hear Try I, to trap him. I, yes, 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 yes. Speak to Rebuke it. Rebuke every trap. Speak to it. In it's the name a trap. of Jesus. It's a trap. Rebuke every trap. Rebuke every and trap. And let him see it. Let him see it let for him himself. Let him see it far off. Yes, yes. In the name of Jesus. Now, Lord, heal him every place that he hurts. Every place that he hurts. Every place that he hurts. In the name of Jesus. Let his heart be free. Let his heart be free. Any resentment or, or I, I hear you, Lord. Any resentment. Turn around. Take it out. Let him live free of resentment. Turn around. In the name of Jesus. Sit down. I thank you so much this morning. Yes. I thank you so much. You'll bless him and I give you praise. Hey, okay, son. In Jesus name. Name. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Once he prays for you, prophesies, so go to your seat. In Jesus' name. It is God that will do the work. Thank you, Lord. Praying, folks. Yes. Are these people praying? Yes. Right. Father in Jesus, are you all right? Ask Lift her to over. She's not yet. He needs to pray for you. Father, I thank you. Oh, we're going to pray for you all right. Father, I thank you right now. Yeah, okay, son. Da, 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 in the name. You believe this? Huh? Smile it. Come on, Jayla. You got to believe. Yes. You believe this? That's Jayla. Father, I want you to heal in every area of her life. Jalea, yes, Whatever smile, Jalea. Needs. That's your name, Jalea? Jalea. Pretty name. I want you to bless her, Lord. I want you to bless her.
you to bless her. Bless her, God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let her know your presence. Let her feel your touch. Hey, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let her feel your spirit. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Fearfully and wonderfully made. Yes. Fearfully and wonderfully made. Yes, God. Fearfully and wonderfully made. I thank you this morning. Hey, hey. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You are accepted in the beloved. I hear the Lord say, My you God. are accepted in the beloved. She's accepted. Wherever else you're not accepted doesn't even matter. You are accepted in the beloved. God accepts you. Oh. Hallelujah. 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 In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Come on, take my hand. Father, in Jesus' name. Yes. I want you to bless him. Grip my hand James. real strong. Yeah, come on, I James. I want you to bless Grip him. His hand. In the name of Jesus. That God minister to you. I want you to strengthen him. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I want you to heal him in every place of his life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Help him to be a light everywhere he goes. In the name of Jesus. My God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. A leader and not a follower. 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 Yes. In the name of Jesus. Ha, hey, glory to God in Jesus' mighty name. That's the glory of God on you. You don't have to, hey, glory to God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. What's your name? James. Thank you, Lord. James, are you a junior? Huh? You're a sophomore. Sophomore, right. yes. Thank you, Jesus. God is going to bless you in a your young school. Man. He's going to use you. You're 17. 15. 15. You're 15. That's a tall Jesus. 15. <laughs> Hallelujah. God going to use you, okay? He wants to use you. Yeah, Let him. Son, da, 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 da. Let him. Grip Thank my hand father. one more time. Do you like to rap? You write poetry or something? You're an athlete. Oh, yeah. I'm Star sure. basketball, football player. I'm, I'm sure. But I see you writing like you're rapping, but it's poetry. And so I want you to get a little journey, a, a little journal. Why don't you get a little journal and start writing? And God's going to use that. You hear me? He's going to use you to dunk and catch and do whatever it is you do. But he's going to use you to write and it's going to help people. You hear me? You got you got a lot to say. You got a lot to say. You got a lot to say. You've been some places. God wants to use that, okay? All right. God bless you. Come on. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want you to touch this precious one. You've been through a lot of stuff, a lot of storms. Yes, yes, she has. You've been through a lot of storms. You just don't know. Yes, but sir. God is going to bring you out. Prophesy. It's all for a testimony. Your journey. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. The enemy could, couldn't kill you. Oh, my God. The enemy could oh, not kill you. Oh, my God. You. Yes. The enemy could not kill you. Couldn't kill him. I see the hands. I see the hands of men trying to beat you down. Oh, my God. I see you coming out of some abusive situations. But the devil is alive. And he spared you for such. Hey, he spared you for such a time as this. And my God, God, heal your body and make you whole. In Jesus' mighty name. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Do you believe? Do you believe? Ask him, does he believe? Yes. Yeah, yeah. All right. Lift up your hands. I'm coming. I'm coming. Thank you, Jesus. Let me tell you what happened to me. Oh, really, God. My last year, no, that was year before, right? Yes, sir. We were on our way to convocation to our national meeting in Memphis, Tennessee. And I got very sick. I want everybody to hear this. Yeah. I got very sick Bring the, the night before I, we were flying out. 
I don't remember. We, I think it was a Tuesday because we were flying out on Wednesday. Yes. To go to the brunch with the bishops and overseers. I got very sick while I was packing my clothes. Began to vomit and vomit and vomit. Couldn't get control of it. And I took some Dramamine. I'm going to pray for you. I want you to hear this. I took Dramamine and got on the flight. It was fine. Got to Memphis, vomited again. Couldn't hardly check in the hotel. So sick. Went to the lunch. You remember this? Went to the, to the brunch. They gave me a big bag of lemons and lime. Them down, folk, down south folk, they know what to do for you. And it stopped me from vomiting all week. I was fine. But I got I back to Cleveland. I'm I a remember. school teacher by trade. And August 1st, I went to our PD. And I got very sick at PD. And I'm like, what is going on? I hope you're listening. I hope you're listening. Oh, yes. I got very sick at PD. And I said, what's going on? So I just continued. I just bypassed it and just chalked it up. And every day, I started vomiting every day, every day, every day. So one day, I was in my class teaching my class. And I said, oh, my God, I start feeling sick. I jumped up. I didn't want the children to see me vomit. So I jumped up, took the trash can, and ran out, vomited in the trash can. My principal saw it on the camera. She said, are you sick? I said, yes. Yeah. She said, you go to the hospital. By the time I got to my car, I was vomiting bile. I said, I better go to the hospital. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I got to the hospital, and they said, you're going to need dialysis. I said, what? They said, your kidneys are failing. I said, no, they're not. I go to the bathroom every day, all day. Went to see a nephrologist. They ran tests, ran my blood. They said my kidneys were operating at 3%. They call what what they call it for me is renal failure. Yes, that's right, renal failure. I lost a hundred pounds. Give me a hand, cause I look good. Come on, <laughs> on your mama, on my hood, I look fine. Y'all ain't saying nothing. I look good. I said, give me a hand. You didn't clap your hands. I was. Thank you. I was a hundred pounds bigger the last time I was here. Now, you wouldn't tell it because it was evenly proportioned. But I'm skinty now. <laughs> and you're alive. And I'm alive. Come on, somebody give God praise. Oh, I didn't hear nobody when I said that. And I'm I alive. said I'm alive. I'm alive. Hallelujah. The devil tried to kill me. Tried to rob me of my strength and my vitality. Yes. But I got my strength back. Hey, God. I started on dialysis, and they were saying all this stuff. And I went to the transplant team, and they did a uh, um, whatever they call it. And um, <laughs> they said, all your other organs are good. We just need to get you a good functioning kidney. I have two livers. I meet with the transplant team May 1st. Y'all not ready for no healing in here. So one way or the other, God's got a healing for you. I told God, I said, I just want to maintain this weight because now I done bought all these little small, small suits and skinny leg jeans. Y'all ain't saying nothing. And I look good in my skinny legs too. Don't fool with me. I'm almost 50, but I look good in my skinny leg jeans. Cut my beard off. Amen. So I will look 30 instead of 50. And honey, I'm a chick magnet. Don't fool yourself. They all likes me. All of them likes me. So I came so you can understand that God's got a miracle with your name on it. Pick your feet up for a few seconds. Come on, pick your feet up. Yeah, this is my speed. Y'all was shouting too fast early. I can shout right here. Come on, pick your feet up. Pick your feet up. Yeah, I can shout here. Overcame him by the word of their testimony and by the blood of the Lamb. 
Hey! Glory to God. Lift up your hands. Father, I'm asking you to do it right now. You can keep it, you can keep it up there, Bishop. I like it. Do it now. Hey! Hey, 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 hey! Do it now. Do it now. We put our faith with her faith. Do it now. In the name of Jesus. We rebuke fibromyalgia. We rebuke pain in this body. And we are loosen another because soul. We loosen an awning for healing. In the name of Jesus. Joint pain, we got that by. And la 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 sata. Joint pain, we come against it now in Jesus' name. We loosen an awning for healing. We loosen an awning for healing. We loosen an awning for healing. In the name of Jesus, we take away anxiety and worry. Anxiety and worry. Stress. Stress. Ho, ho, ho. Stress. We loose you from it now, in the name of Jesus. Hey, 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 hey. You better praise him, Sister Carletta. You shout for your unsaved loved ones to be saved. God said, I'm going to do it. I'm gonna do it. You put up enough days. You better praise him, Elder Cora. You put up enough days in fasting and praying, and I'm gonna do it for you. I'm also gonna increase your money. I'm gonna increase your money. Ho! Hey, 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 hey. I'm going to do it for you. You've been believing. You've been believing. And under your shata, under your Sierra la Baha, under la 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 I'm going to do it. Y'all help her shout. Pick your feet up. Pick your feet up. Put her in a circle and pick your feet up. Come on, come on. I'm asking God, tell him, tell him, I'm going to ask God to give him a miracle. Tell him. I'm going to ask God. Father, in the name of Jesus. you to loose this tongue in the name of Jesus. He understands, but he just doesn't speak. I want you to loose this tongue that he might speak. It frustrates him. It frustrates him. But I want God to give you a miracle. I want God to give you a miracle. In the name of Jesus. Can I touch your head? In the name of Jesus. Uh, uh, Loose his tongue that he might speak and it's himself in the name of Jesus for your glory and for your honor. And we believe you in Jesus' name. Let's give God some time to do it. And you stop stressing yourself. You stress out a lot. You do. But God's got it, okay? And I'm not just talking about him. God's got you. You hear me? God's got you. He's going to bless you. You hear me? He's going to bless you. Now, what is this that I'm looking at? You have tummy. Some stuff. Okay. Put your hand your chest Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth. Open your mouth up like this. It's going to be like a 
what is that thing they call the endos in in yeah it's gonna be like that going down you're gonna turn the searchlight from heaven on you and you're gonna take out whatever shouldn't be all right open your mouth don't be afraid you hear me don't be afraid open up ah, in jesus name hey 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 in jesus name in jesus in jesus name in Jesus' name, let her be well. Let her be well. Take away stress and anxiety. Take away stress and anxiety. Come on, praise him. Come on, praise him. 